Hey, welcome back to Civilization 6 as Japan. So, when we last left off, we started a war with Hungary, but that was his own damn fault for taking Hatosa. Now, I don't know if I will be able to liberate Hatosa in time. We got 18 turns. If Mali softens it up a little bit, then I might be able to move in and take it. But meanwhile, we will take the other city, the one that flipped already. And I can probably convert a few more cities to my religion as well. That shouldn't be too hard. Now, I know there was a musket man in there, which means we should probably be careful. I'm also mostly out of money at the moment, which means no upgrades at the moment. Unless I can get some gold. Oh, hold on. I can actually sell some horses. Not a lot of them, but better than nothing, and she will pay. Works for me. Okay, not this much. 60? Yeah, good enough. Anything else? Maybe a luxury? No, she doesn't need any. What about Dido? Will she buy anything? Maybe silk. I'm definitely not selling nighter, I need it. Yes, she will buy silk, nice. For over 200, very nice. Okay, good enough. That gives us 340, enough for a few more unit upgrades. I don't have the discount, professional army. But some of the upgrades are still pretty damn expensive, even with professional army. Also, I queued up two heroes, because why not? Beowulf and Sun Wukong. They will both be useful against Hungary. So we'll grab them. We got another spy promotion. A polygraph and seduction would be useful for counter espionage. Let's get polygraph. And we can maybe try to get one more promotion. We got reduced mission duration, so it should be relatively fast. Anyway, we got one more city coming up, and I'll get some extra nighter with this one. Which will actually be useful, because right now I cannot upgrade my units as quickly as I would like to. Because I don't have enough nighter. Oh, hi, privateer. Oh, he's going to pillage some of my improvements, okay. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. We are also about to enter a golden age. And this is my last chance to buy a builder with faith, if I want to. Because there's no monumentality in industrial era. I'll probably pick up two arms, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, not starting this city yet, because I'll get some era score for this. Which means I might as well save it for two more turns. We already secured the Golden Age. So, we'll start the city right after we enter Industrial Era. So, let's see how quickly we can take this city. It might take a little bit of time. Yeah, it will. And I want to avoid staying in range of this encampment over here. Yeah, there is a musket man, but he's almost dead. So, in theory, he shouldn't be a big problem. But, I don't know, Hungary might have some units in the back. Which would make this a little bit trickier. But we'll see, I need to keep attacking the city if I want to have a chance to take Hatosa in the next 17 turns. It's not a big deal if we don't, but I would like to try, you know? I will still keep attacking the encampment here, but this is mostly for experience. Might as well use the bombards. All of them. Uh, let's wait one more turn for the nighter and we'll get one more bombard still. Sounds good to me. Alright. Looks like that's it. What about the builder? Uh, I'm not buying any tiles because, again, I need money for my military. 
We don't have one of us still yet, the knight, but he needs to heal up first. So, right, let's stay here and attack on the next turn. Oh yeah, we need one more fort and that will give me the boost I need. There we go, ballistics. And we'll get field cannons in five turns. I got quite a few crossbowmen, actually. So field cannons will be useful. So where are these guys going? Yeah, probably to Tokyo or so. I need to convert Tokyo. There, it's enough, but it might not be enough permanently. And I need the city to stay converted because it will get more production that way. All right, this will be the city right here. It could also be here. Does it make a difference? Not really. In a sense, I think this style will be a little bit better. So that will be it. And that will give us more nitre. I still need to work on my economy a little bit, but I kind of am. Neutralize governor. Well, these are kind of useless now. We could maybe spy on Congo instead. That's an option. Or Hungary over here. Uh, also cannot steal any boasts. Uh, Dido is my ally. Yeah, let's try Congo maybe. I could at least siphon some funds from him. And I could definitely use more funds, as you can see yourself. And there's industrial era. So now I could pick up two arms if I want to. Monumentality is not an option anymore. I would say the other option would be a hard bit of steam, but I'm not really focused on wonders all that much. It would mostly be the production from campuses, but I don't even have that many campuses. So let's pick up two arms. This is useful not just for the Golden Age CB, but also for the 15% military production bonus. I'm not sure if this applies to heroes. Does it? Okay, let's see. Oh, and I think someone got the Beowulf because he was queued up in here. Yep. Well, I could still get somebody else. But there aren't a lot of options left. We could get Sinbad. Who else? Free movement. Free movement. Okay, four movement. Interesting. Plus 10 combat strength to all units within two tiles. That's not too bad. Automatically heals 20 HP each turn. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, target any adjacent friendly unit that has moved or attacked. Immediately restores the unit's moves and attacks. So I could use this on a siege units, for example. That would actually be nice. And Himiko has the city-state ability. Immediately places one free envoy in the city-state. If you are already the suzerain, also earns 150 faith. Okay. Also, I could immediately levy the city-state's military at no cost. Would I actually use that? I could use it on Auckland, but... I mean, it wouldn't be bad. That's quite a few crossbowmen. So that's an option. My other city-state allies are Valletta right here. So, not amazing. Catapult, Pike and Shot, and two crossbowmen. And then Johannesburg, which is a little bit too far away to be effective. So, they are both decent, but not amazing. I kind of like this ability, though. That could be nice. Also, she has 80 mala strength, I like that. And she automatically heals every turn and ignores movement penalties in heal terrain. Okay, sure, let's give it a shot. Yeah, this is a project, so this is probably not affected by two arms. 
But yes, let's pick up two arms. Done. And let's see, another spy? Yeah, who do we spy on? Well, let's see. How about Mali? Mali is over here, we could do that. Siphon some funds from them. That's always an option. Speaking of which... Let's see. Yeah, I kind of want an industrial zone in here. It will not be amazing, unfortunately. But oh well. I don't really have a lot of options. I could build it down here where the jungle is. Next to the horses. But that's a hill. I think I would rather keep that and use it for a mine. I think plus two will have to do. So like over here next to horses and then I can build more districts next to it. But yeah, let's build an industrial zone. I could use more production here. Alright, now we can get the city right here. Done. Get the nighter right away. And I can fade by the buildings. Might as well. Let's just buy all of them. Done. And we can queue up a district. For example, a harbor wouldn't be bad. I just need to buy a tile. Yeah, let's just get a harbor. Works for me. It's not going to be amazing, but it will give us another trade route. And I could seriously use more trade routes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not upgrading the warrior. There's no need. We still got Hercules. And he has how many turns? He has 21 turns left. He is out of charges now, but I can still use him in combat. And I definitely will. So, let's move him right away. What's his strength again? Uh, 78! Yeah, that's actually pretty damn good. That is quite a bit higher than a Masked Man, for example. Way higher. And now, I think I'll just ignore that Masked Man. I'm pretty sure Hungary will actually kill him. So, let's attack the city. I might have to wait until it actually flips to me. Or rather, not like on purpose but it will flip to me before I can do enough damage to capture it. That's kind of how it looks like. Unless Hungary manages to get more loyalty pressure in here. But right now, I'm in the lead, so to speak. Uh, right here. You can see. So that should be ours in seven turns. Again, in theory, we'll see how that's going to work out. So, right, let's upgrade the catapult. There we go, that leaves me with 40 gold. And I'm actually losing some gold right now. Which is not great. Let's sell some more horses. I don't really need them all that much. And I could certainly use the money. Our spies need to do some work. And siphon those funds. Here, that will do for now. I just need to watch it. How much are we paying for unit maintenance? Uh, quite a lot. 40 gold per turn. Alright then. And when I upgrade units, I pay more for their maintenance. That's something to watch out for as well. Okay, anything else? What about the builder? Yeah, see, I could get the dice, but again, I'm saving the money right now. I don't necessarily need it too many more improvements around here. We can get the crab. So that's that. As for the trade route, yeah, now I need the money. How much can we get? Well, we can get an envoy in Auckland, but that will barely be worth any gold. Not great. I think we should get some trade routes with our allies. So I might be able to get something with Dido. Oh yeah, I could get a trade route from this city right here. Because this will be a city. It will also give us some era score. Yeah, let's check trade routes from there. 
should definitely be some nice ones with Dido. Alright, yeah, I will not be buying any tiles right now. We can, however, fade by the monument and probably just start a harbor. It will be a plus six harbor. That's pretty nice in my book. There you go. I am at minus one amenities now, which is not great. Might be a good moment to build entertainment complex somewhere. Yeah, definitely a good plan. I can't build water parks just yet. And I'm not quite close to unlocking them either. You want peace? Sorry, bro. I have slightly different plans. Oh, yep, yeah, hold on. Hungary is coming. Uh, with a pretty damn strong unit as well. Okay, yeah. 75 base strength. That's a core as well. And he's a unique unit. Well, now I definitely need to wait for this city to flip to me. And I'll have to back up. Yep, I definitely need to back up. Because that guy will wreck my bombard. I can pretty much guarantee that will happen. So let's secure the front line. Like so. And I could use Hercules right about now. He can handle this situation. Hopefully we'll get the other two heroes. That would be nice. Also, instead of going for Hatosa, I could just go for some other cities. Get a city next to his capital. That might come in handy in the future. Alright, so how about we build a district? We need 13 population. Okay then. Well, yeah, not with 11 out of 11 housing. Unless I wanted to build an aqueduct. I could build an aqueduct, but we are already next to a lake. It's not really worth it. No, not really. I could get at least one more housing from farms, however. Let's get a builder for that. Oh yeah, and a lighthouse for another trade route. I need trade routes badly. And it looks like we can queue up a trader already. Uh, or not. He's queued up elsewhere. So, uh, I let Hungary move towards me. That should be fine. Not that I have much of a choice, to be honest. If I move towards him, that will end poorly. Okay, this city should definitely get converted. So, Inquisitor first. There, done. I will be getting some religious pressure here. That's probably unavoidable, at least in the near future. So, let's check the trade routes. They're not amazing, but they are definitely better. 12 gold per turn is better. I can also send one to Congo, but I'm not allied with Congo. So, this will do. And extend our alliance here. That's research alliance. Done. All right, bring it on, Hungary. Uh, he's not actually coming. It's one thing to surmise what happened. New well, not at the moment, it seems. We unlocked liberalism. I might need that. Also, rationalism, but rationalism won't give me that much science. Yeah, see? Natural philosophy would give me more. I don't need a professional army anymore. I can use it one more time. And then switch the policies. Uh, he is coming with that unique unit. So hold on. One more unit promotion. Yeah, not this guy, that's too expensive. What is not super expensive? Uh, I don't have enough nitre for that one. Uh, these are all too expensive. Uh, this guy. Okay, that's not super expensive. Let's go for that. 115. And then we can switch. So I don't need a professional army because I don't have the money at the moment. I will need liberalism. I think we should still keep serfdom. 
definitely have to keep scripture. And the veterans uh, is still useful. It's still useful. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this works for both encampment and the harbor and the buildings inside the encampment and harbor. So I'm definitely still using that. Now, how do we handle this fella? Uh, that's a good question. I might have to move that bombard into the district. And I'll have to back up with the crossbowmen. I could also move the musket men to the front, but there's a pretty good chance he will get killed. Yeah, that guy has a lot of combat strength. There's a very good chance my musket men will get killed. He might get killed regardless, don't get me wrong. Yeah, there's a decent chance he will get killed anyway, because I can't move him far away. Or at least not far enough. Now, I don't need a full health musket man in the front. Look at this. Yeah, I will take a ton of damage if I find him directly. But I want to do some damage with their crossbowman without getting wrecked immediately. I need Hercules here. He's coming. He's basically my highest strength melee unit right now. He needs to handle this situation. And he needs to handle it fast. Okay, so how about some farms? As for research, I might be able to kill a unit with a musket man. Well, we can try. Probably not this guy. I will still try, but it's going to be tricky. And the nationalism. That's an obvious one. I really need cores. Now, I could boost it in theory. I could boost it by using Golden Age CB. But I really don't want to use it right now. Who would I use it on? Cyrus? My army is completely out of position to fight Cyrus. And I am already at war with Hungary. So, yeah, not a lot of options there. One more trader. In fact, it would be faster to get him in the capital. And Fukuoka can work on something else. I need that gold to start flowing a little bit faster than that. Yep. Don't necessarily need medieval walls in here. I could still try to get a hero. Let's actually just run a campus research grants. More science definitely won't hurt. Yeah, a builder or library for some more science. Remove that marsh. And we'll work on the cities. So we got two more spreads on the Inquisitor and two more on the missionary. I could convert Fukushima, but that city is not as important. And also privateer. Not fighting him with a galley, that's for sure. Hold on then. Okay, this city will be fine. This one will also be... Well, okay, it might not be fine. It should be fine. Plus four per turn to our religion. And also plus four per turn to Eastern Orthodoxy. The only way I might lose it is if Congo sends missionaries or like apostles something like that right it should be safe to keep attacking the district here it's mostly for experience in case you're wondering so yeah that's that let's see how much damage this guy is going to do uh, probably a lot yeah i can basically tell you right now it's going to be a lot because he has very high combat strength. I will have to wait for more gold here. We do have the reef, however, which is pretty nice. And we'll get the fish in two turns. That's good enough for me. Can we exchange some luxuries? Not really. Can I sell more horses? Nope. Okay, never mind then. 
Yep, I knew it. Well, that was fairly predictable. But now I can hit him with both my encampment and also my city. So... Yeah, it would be nice to get that musket man kill. Maybe we can actually get that done. I'll try. But it's still going to be tough. I can almost surround him. In fact, I can completely surround him. There we go. He can still embark, but he is going to have a bad time if he tries that. Oh, he will definitely have a bad time if he tries that. Now the tricky part is getting a killing blow with my musket man. Because I could kill him right now, but I don't want to kill him right now. I'm guessing he will probably embark. But if he does that, I'll just keep shooting him. He might also try to attack my unit. I'm not totally sure what he's going to do. And I can't really block this style with anything. No, I can't. Let's just wait one turn and see what he's going to do. If he stays on land, I should be able to get a killing blow for the musket man and the boss square legging. If not, it's not the end of the world. There's a promotion. So there we go. Okay, four more turns and the city should be ours. At least in theory. We'll see how that will work out in practice. Okay, convert. Nice one. That gives us more era score. Oh yeah, we converted the holy city. Very nice. I didn't even notice this was the holy city. That is his capital as well. Well, go us. More era score is always a good thing. Remove that. All right then. Oh, city bombardment, right, yeah, that silly privateer. Okay, hold on, the galley can actually finish him off, nice! That was slightly unexpected. I didn't think a galley will finish him off. So, let's see. We do have two more heroes coming, still. Yep, he embarked. Like I thought, that was fairly predictable. I guess I will not be getting the kill with a musket man, but oh well. It's fine. There, we'll kill him anyway and get era score because he was a core and I was not. Okay, three more turns. Again, in theory, Hungary might be able to do something to increase their loyalty here, but I'm hoping they will not be able to, or at least that they will not be smart enough to do it. Now, I will probably not be able to liberate Hatosa. I can still try, but I will have like 10 turns left to get there and actually take it. We might be better off going for other cities. The cities nearby, like this one looks pretty nice. We can decide once we get the city. Yeah, trader. And in here, a uh, wallop might as well grab that shipyard and repair the damage. And also over here, I guess. I'll just send this guy. It's not like he has anything better to do. He most certainly does not. Our economy is looking a little bit better already. And it will get better. Like right now. Yeah, the trade route shouldn't be from the capital. These are kind of bad. Let's just use this city right here. It will have some okay-ish trade routes. Did we get plus one housing? No, but we should get plus one housing after one more farm. Are we there yet? Yeah, you guys just chill and wait. Uh, let's see if we can convert some more cities, like this one. I assume I will be capturing that one. Well, I will at least try to capture it. Because that's an obvious next target. Uh, let's remove the jungle. Special session. 
Oh, religious emergency. Uh, okay. Do I really care about that? I mean, not necessarily, but I can still vote against it. I can defend myself just fine against that. Okay, it actually failed. There you go. Back to business. Let's see. Mali is still attacking Hattusa, but their units are a little bit too outdated to be able to take it. Two more turns, so this is definitely happening. Nice to see. And we got some decent experience. Yeah, this is going to be a very nice city, actually. That Masked Man is still there? Okay. Here's a promotion. Yeah, let's get... So it doesn't really matter, because I can pick up Expert Crew later on regardless. This can both be useful for different reasons. Let's get crew weapons on that one. Gordian, right, we got a dam. So now we should get an industrial zone. Right here would be plus five. Not a bad idea. I should probably harvest that resource first. But a plus five would be quite a nice. Let's just get a builder and harvest that. Or, hold on, I can use that one. I don't really need a new builder here. We can queue up something else while we wait. Like, for example... Well, I could do any encampment training. Are we even close to a great general? Uh, not really. <laughs> we are super close to Galileo. Is there a good spot for him? Hold on, is there a good spot for him? Uh, sort of. This one would be okay. I see a maximum of three mountains. There might be a spot with four somewhere. Yeah, in this area. This is four, right there. I would have to get there, but that shouldn't be super hard. I can get open borders from Congo. I can probably get allied with Congo soon. Kind of looks that way. But let's just buy open borders from Congo real quick. He's already basically neutral towards me. Uh, okay. 15 gold. Here, 20. Really? Still not? I don't want to give him gold per turn. There you go, done. So now I can just go through his territory and here. We'll take Galileo. It's not always worth it, but in this situation it's probably worth it. Yeah, Alchemical Society. I don't have a governor title right now. The next governor title will go into Magos, right here. That's a nice one. That is definitely a nice one. So, what do we get here? <laughs> Probably some unit. Yeah, that works. It's something that doesn't take too long, like pike and shot. Yeah, works for me. And then after we remove the resource, we can get the plus five industrial zone. That's the plan. All right, so let's protect our religion and go repair the tiles. There's the spy. We'll gain sources first, obviously. Send some decent trade route. I suppose this one counts as decent. Plus 12 gold, plus 1 science. Works for me, especially if we end up getting allied with Congo, which looks like we might. Remove that. Uh, so, right, let's move south. It's pretty funny, I'm just, like, walking through his territory with my apostles. There's the other spy. Yeah, gain sources first. And then we'll try to siphon some funds. Sorry, buddy, not interested. One more turn. Moderate flood. And, yep, there's Galileo. So we'll take him. 
And another trade route. Yeah, I suppose I could send that trade route to Auckland, but it should be from somewhere else, preferably. Maybe we can get a better one. More than plus three gold, anyway. So, next up, I could run some projects. That is an option. Let's get a few more builders, just to have them ready. Right, removing that and then building the industrial zone. We need one more turn, and then the city will be ours. We did all the work, obviously. <laughs> that was a tough siege, man. Very tough siege. Unless Hungary is able to like get more loyalty somehow on the next turn, but that's not happening. They would have done it by now. And there aren't too many things they could do. He could run like Bread and Circuses project. I don't know if the AI is smart enough for that. Also, there are some decent wonders still available, like the Potala Palace or Taj Mahal. I could definitely grab one. Now, how about entertainment complex? Because I kind of need one, especially like inland. So, I could just grab it here, because that spot is already open. It's not an ideal location. The other option would be a plus six commercial hub. Actually, yeah, let's get a plus six commercial hub. I like that. And I still need gold. Now, Galileo. This was the plan. We're sending him somewhere over here, basically. I don't think he needs an escort. No. He does not. Okay, give me that city already. I've been waiting for a while. It's mine, alright? That's just a flat tile. Yeah, let's save that for a district of some sort. Probably industrial zone between two different strategic resources. Adjacent to a harbor and adjacent to a city center. They're square rigging. So next up we can go uh, for industrialization to reveal coal. And based on whether we have coal or not, I can decide what my next target is going to be. And yep, there we go. The city is ours. Nice. Obviously keeping it. Got some error score for it. And right, another one of these guys. That unit is pretty damn strong. Definitely a little bit tricky dealing with it. But I should be able to deal with it easier once I get more heroes. I got one hero coming in two turns and then in six. That will make it easier because they have much higher strength. Uh, I think I can kill that catapult. <laughs> or not. Almost. How about a good trade route? Uh, yeah, still not amazing. We might be better off sending something from Fukushima or so. I think that will be best. Uh, let's just fade by the Gurdwara. Yeah, I do have over 1000 fade. How about we put it to good use? Uh, I could buy an Inquisitor preemptively here. Uh, definitely a good idea. And I could just convert Fukushima. Looks like I could do it with a missionary. Yeah, let's just send this guy, and the Inquisitor can stay in Tokyo. That's the plan. And how about we just fight by the buildings here? Might as well. That's what we have fight for. Done. Instant armory. And then... Some unit wouldn't be bad. A builder will also still be useful. Uh, this city needs a lot of improvements, actually. So, builder sounds good. Right, uh, we'll go through here. We can probably go through the lake. Alright. Let's keep pushing, then. 
I will be getting cards in six turns. Now, I could try to get this busted. That would involve getting peace with Hungary and declaring war, for example, on Persia. I don't necessarily want to do it just for the sake of saving like four turns on nationalism research. I don't think it's worth it. I probably won't be taking Hatosa anymore, because nine turns will not be enough. It might be best to just stay at war with Hungary. However, I'm going to decide that in the next episode, so thanks for watching this one, I hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did to denounce the YouTube algorithm as its tradition, and subscribe for more daily videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.